Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EA Sports UFC 3. Hopefully soon we'll have some beta we can all play for UFC 4. But we are going to be Rose Namanunes taking on Yawana. Uh, that's how you say her last name if you didn't know. Uh, but Rose kind of submission specialist. Not, not you know, too much. But we're going to get a takedown early on by catching that kick. See if I can't shut that off. There we go. There we go. Side control. Let's go. All I want to do is kind of wear out a little bit. She's back to her feet. Good job. Good head kick, too. Head off the center line. Let's go. I'm going to strike a little bit. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to try to go for another takedown. There we go. Another takedown. Let's go. Check that one off. Let's hit some body strikes. Let's go side control. Nice, nice. Oh, no. I flicked it wrong. That's on me. I missed that one straight up. Oh, tried to hit her with a big head kick. Didn't get it. Okay, good. Inside leg kick, outside leg kick. That was a nice strike landed. Big body kick there. Big head kick. Try to go for a single leg takedown. We got it straight into side control. It's going to roll to sprawl position. Let's see if he wants to stand up. We do have a very nice flying arm bar, I think. That we might go to. Try to punch her a few times. Gonna stand up straight into the Panda Express. No! Couldn't get it under the Panda Express. Let's go, Ty. Try to get it. Couldn't get it. Deny that one. Let's go, single collar. Ty. Shake that down. Let's go arm bar. Let's go, baby. 55 seconds. We should have equal stamina or close to. There's a nice one. Oh, good job, dude. I thought for sure he would go back right. He didn't. I'm perfectly happy moving to half guard here. Deny that. Oh, man. The grappling of Rose feels smooth. Let's punch her a couple times. There we go. Good round for Rose, man. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the stats of round one. 44 to 16. Got a stun or a wobble, whatever. Got two takedowns. That was nice. That was really, really nice. Um, that submission was pretty close. Um, just thinking about it in my head, he went two directions, and then I thought... I just had a feeling he was going to go back right, and instead he held left the whole time. Um, so that was kudos to him. Um, I kind of want to do like this to say, you know, respect, because I didn't touch gloves. So now I feel weird. Do a little bit of movement. Good, good check. Hadn't, hadn't landed a body kick yet. There's the one. Oof, baby. That was nice. Nice one. Oof, push kick to the face. Good sway. You know, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Oof, good head kick. Doubled up the body. I think he's going to start throwing some knees. Trying to establish that jab once again. 
We're striking a little more than I, I, you know, I normally do. I normally want to. But uh, I think we're doing okay. Ooh. That's my fault, missing that. That was big. Start putting on a little bit more pressure. That was a good block. There we go. Nice takedown. Beautiful. Took us a while to get it, but we finally got it. And then he quit. Oh, no, bro. We had a good fight going. Dang, he had to quit. I mean, we were winning the fight, obviously, but... All right, well, let's get us another one of the rows. What's up? We're back with our second fight. We're going to be using Holly Holm against Jermaine. This is going to be a nice technical stand-up battle. Um, so far, I'm 0 for 1. I really want to... Uh, every time he throws a kick, he throws a straight punch after it. I really want to try to pace myself. I want to throw a lot of like jabs. I have such high hopes for UFC 4 boys. Uh oh, my controller's low. That's not good. Okay, nice little knockdown. This could be it right here. Big left hands, a nice one too. Vicious combinations. Uh I just feel like more fights need to go to decisions. And they don't in this game. Oh, double jab there by Durandomy. Really good job of landing that series of punches. When the southpaw fighter is facing the orthodox fighter, it opens up the back left kick for the southpaw fighter, which lands on the liver. It's a very vulnerable area and a huge advantage to fighting southpaw. Oh, good kick. Nice punch by Duranami. Oh! Massive kick to the body. Wow. Oh. This could be it. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Okay, good rock. We got it back. Didn't get the knockdown, but we got a rock back. Holly Holmes kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Knee to the body. Oh, she lands another mm. strike to the no. body. Joe Three knees really to the body in a row. A lot of strikes to the body. Switching stances here. In the clinch, Duranami's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Another body kick. Another body knee, Beautiful. I mean. Man, these knees to the body are trash, bro. It's pissing me off. Jeez, all we do is knees to the body, knees to the body. I mean, what the piss, dude. Two stuns, he had two knockdowns. Stupid. Anyways. I just uh, the the striking game in this is just garbage. It's just putting button mash. That's all it is. Garbage, button mash. I mean, all you gotta do is stand in front of them, throw punches. Doesn't matter. Make sure you just keep throwing punches. Three knees in a row. Knee, knee, knee. Blocked one. I mean, really? 
blocked one. And then back to back knees. Like, are you serious? That's garbage. Oh well. This is embarrassing, but oh well. <laughs> I was not happy with my performance or the way that guy fought. Just the knees to the body was silly. Uh, one of the few times you'll hear me get frustrated because let me explain it to you. I think most fights in UFC end via decision. I get it. Everybody likes that big shot that lands that knocks you out. I get it. I like that too. But there has to be a way to make that happen to where we're not throwing a hundred punches around and every time, like you can land a good three punch combo. That's great. They land one slip straight and you're rocked. That doesn't make sense to me. So the way she just was able to stand in front of my face, eat a hook while throwing knee, 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 that, that just drives me nuts. And that's why you guys, you know, I love the ground game. I can control it. I can, you can't do anything I don't want you to do on the ground. Ugh. Anyways, let's get us another one. All right, here we are in our third and final fight. You know, I'm using Habib because last fight was with Holly. And you know what? I just, yeah, I don't feel like doing it. So this is what we're doing. Beautiful stuff, takedown. You know, I love a little 360 spin action in the middle of the ring, no biggie. I'm going to be patient. But what? Look at my stamina from one... That's it. That's all I've done was one takedown. Good short punch there. One takedown left me with that much stamina. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. That punch no good. And he connects with the punch there. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. I should have went for a takedown there. It's a huge chunk. Look at that. How would that's crazy, bro? I, oh my goodness, that is crazy. Against the ass, nonetheless. He's been throwing a lot of kicks today, so I know he he's not going to want to eat too many body kicks. Touch him a little. I'll get a takedown eventually. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Should have got one there. I think he's pre-denying though. So there we go. I do think he's pre-denying those takedowns. So get ready. He's going to try to put us in the guard. We'll go ahead and try to go to crucifix. Couldn't get it. Be ready for guard. Nope. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. There we go. Good shot to the body. We're going to chew up his body stamina a little bit. See if we can't hit him in the body here. Remember, it's always position over damage, guys. Mm. Not going to let that happen. We'll go stack. I'm not going to punch too much. Because, you know, it's DS. I'm going to hit him with the right punch. Let's go half guard. There we go. He's in half guard here. Not gonna let that happen. Now we're just gonna kind of grind him out for the rest of this round. We're setting up round two. Just keep on keeping on, boys. That is a solid round. I like the way the striking went. We didn't take in necessary shots. We, I know, I throw jabs and straights. I don't throw a lot. Uh, crazy stuff. That's just not me. So this guy's probably gonna try to hit me with like a head kick. 
round of the year per se, but pretty good action on both sides. Joe Rogan, your thoughts on what we saw from either fighter through those first five minutes? Oh. He's gonna throw a head kick in a second. I mean, it's bound to happen. He has knockout power in his strikes, and his big skill is being able to take guys down and maul them on the ground. There we go. Okay. Posture up. Bunch of elbows to the body because I know his head health is hurt. There we go. Oh, now we get him. You know, it's almost worth to just keep Diaz here in this position rather than go to half guard. Oh, man, this dude's in so much trouble. I mean, he's in a world of trouble. Let's set my stamina back up, then we'll go from there. Oh, got it. Absolutely not, friend. Oh, weird. Uh, I thought I would have already pass the half, but we did it, so he got back to his feet. Okay, cool. No way he does it again. He did it again. <laughs> All right, GG's, Diaz. Um... You know, Habib's just like a souped up Chel Sonnen. I actually like Chel Sonnen better than Habib. It's just something weird. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's the division, but there's some killers in middleweight too. But either way, what a fight. GG, man. He threw, you know, wild head kick, caught an overhand coming in, and that was night night. He had took so much damage on the ground. Bink, right in the ear. Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K, baby. Let's go. Uh, yeah. And hit that like button. Helps me out a ton. Can't wait for UFC 4. High five. See you later.